get ready. Since opening in 1979, Thorpe Park has gone under two major identity changes. From a leisure and heritage park upon opening to a family amusement park in the late 80s and 90s, Thorpe Park is now branded as the most thrilling theme park in the UK. All of this development has left plenty of rides and attractions in its wake. In this tour through Thorpe Park's attraction graveyard, we look at 10 Thorpe Park rides and attractions that no longer exist. Get ready! Number 10. Phantom Fantasia and Wicked Witch's Haunt This haunted dark ride went by two names and was in operation from 1983 until 2000. It was called Phantom Fantasia from opening until 1993 and Wicked Witch's Haunt from 1994 after a refurbishment until 2000. Initially, Phantom Fantasia was a ride that took guests through the darker parts of British history, featuring a torture dungeon, Sweeney Todd's barbershop, Henry VIII having a banquet, Queen Elizabeth I sending someone off to be beheaded, as well as a beheaded Queen Mary of Scots, among other things. The ride also featured a seance scene, a ballroom scene and a graveyard scene. It's no secret where they got inspiration for this one. Following its refurbishment, some scenes were added to the ride, such as witches brewing in a cauldron, a spider scene, and other various witches throughout the ride. A fire destroyed this show building in July 2000, and the ride never reopened. Detonator Bombs Away has stood in its place since 2001. This fire will be mentioned later in this video too, as it destroyed part of another extinct attraction here. Number 9. Cinema 180 Opening in 1981, Cinema 180 was one of the first attractions ever built in Thorpe Park. While pretty self-explanatory, this attraction allowed guests to watch videos on a 180 degree screen, fully immersing them in the video. The main show was a point of view video of a roller coaster. Ironically, Thorpe Park did not have any roller coasters at the time that this attraction was built. It would be three years before a power coaster was built and 15 years before a non-power coaster was opened in the park. It's strange to think of Thor Park without any coasters at all. For a long time, Cinema 180 was the only way to enjoy the experience of going on a coaster in Thor Park. Other shows such as racing scenes and helicopter flights were featured also, and the screen was used for special events. Cinema 180 closed in 1994 after 13 years in operation. Zodiac now stands in its place. Number 8. Chief Ranger's Carousel a running theme in this video is how Thor Park has gone from a family park to a thrill seekers park, often at the expense of smaller family rides being removed for huge coasters. Many of these family rides featured a group of characters called the Thor Park Rangers. The group was made up of Chief Ranger, Mr. Monkey, Mr. Elephant, Mr. Giraffe, Mr. Rabbit, Miss Hippo and Miss Frog, among others. Many of these characters had their own attractions, but all have disappeared over time but one, Mr. Monkey's Banana Ride. Chief Ranger's Carousel was the main character's feature attraction. It featured the whole gang and was one of the last to be removed. As well as the characters, it featured replica vehicles from Phantom Fantasia, Storm in a Teacup and various other Thor Park rides. The ride opened in 1994 and ran for 20 years before closing in 2014, with Darren Brown's Ghost Train now occupying this area of the park. Number 7. Slammer Slammer was a flat ride that operated from 2005 until 2016. It was one of only two Sky Swat flat rides in the world, the other being Catapult which operated in Six Flags New England from 2006 to 2012. The ride was basic, hoisting riders 100 feet up in the air at 30 miles per hour. The ride would do three forward rotations and then three backward rotations. This was located at the back of the park behind Walking Dead the Ride, and the area looks set to be occupied by Black Mirror Labyrinth in 2021. If you love this ride, don't worry, there are plenty of other flat rides in Thor Park, such as Rush, Vortex, Samurai and Zodiac, all which offer a pretty similar experience. Number 6. Magic Mill and Mr. Rabbit's Tropical Travels This family boat ride operated under two names during its 19 year run. Opening as Magic Mill in 1982, guests boarded a boat that would take them on a relaxing journey through gardens and model houses. It featured a dark ride area, where the Cam River would take guests into the mill. This was filled with animatronic animals singing Paul McCartney's We Stand Together. 
With the introduction of the Thor Park Rangers in the 90s, Magic Mill was rethemed to Mr. Rabbit's Tropical Travels, seeing some changes to the boats as well as the characters featuring amongst the gardens and the houses. The same fire that destroyed Phantom Fantasia also destroyed the Dark Ride section of this ride. However, the ride still operated without the Dark Ride section for a year, before closing permanently in 2001. Nemesis Inferno later opened in this area in 2003. Number 5. Invaders of Britain Invaders of Britain was an exhibition area that also went by the names of Our Heritage and History of Man. The area was open between 1979 and 1990. It was filled with replica buildings and boats, including a Stone Age cave, a Celtic farmhouse, a Roman house, a Saxon long hall, King John's pavilion from Runnymede, a Roman boat and a Viking longship. As an opening day attraction, Invaders of Britain suited the model of a heritage centre. By 1990, however, the park no longer fit this descriptor. The exhibition likely served as a good attraction for a home audience as the park was developing, but was maybe a bit too patriotic to attract an international audience. By 1990, Thor Park had many more rides and attractions that could draw bigger audiences, and thus Invaders of Britain was removed. Number 4. Calgary Stampede This was another flat ride. Opening in 1993, Calgary Stampede was a big attraction upon opening. It closed 10 years later in 2003 as one of the smaller attractions in the park. This really conveys the story of the development Thor Park went through in this 10 year time frame. They added three huge roller coasters in X No Way Out, now known as Walking Dead The Ride, Colossus and Nemesis Inferno, as well as some other flat rides in Vortex, Zodiac and Detonator Bombs Away. In hindsight, this ride began to look dated quickly. This is probably accentuated by the new rides that popped up all around Thor Park. By today's standards, Calgary Stampede feels very much like a funfair attraction, an image Thor Park probably wanted to distance itself from. In 2004, Samurai opened in its place. Samurai is a bigger, more robust flat ride that still operates today. Did you ever ride Calgary Stampede? And did you prefer it to Samurai? Let us know in the comments below. Number 3. Drive in the Country and Miss Hippo's Fungal Safari Similar to Magic Mill, Drive in the Country was repurposed to fit the Thor Park Rangers theme in the mid-90s. Drive in the Country was an attraction that allowed guests to board vintage Ford cars. The track would take guests through quaint English countryside. This opened in 1990 and was rethemed after just four years in 1994. Fitting in with the rest of Rangers County, the vehicles were changed to jungle jeeps. The English countryside was replaced by dense jungle and foliage. The Rangers characters featured along the track and other bits of theming like tribal shields, huts and statues could be seen. This operated until 2009 and closed due to high operational costs and decline in popularity. This was one of the more family friendly Thor Park rides. Number 2. Model World Model World was a staple of Thor Park for 25 years, opening in 1979 and closing in 2004. The area featured 1 to 36 scale models of famous landmarks from around the world. Everything being the same scale meant that all landmarks were proportionally correct in relation to each other. Guests could compare the size of the Statue of Liberty to the Pyramids of Giza, or the Taj Mahal to the Sydney Opera House. While technically miniature, Model World featured some huge landmarks, with Toronto's CN Tower reaching 15 metres into the sky, and the Eiffel Tower reaching 9 metres high. The area also featured a miniature version of Thor Park's dome. Upon closing, this area became host to the Swarm in 2012. Due to the length of time that this attraction existed, anyone who visited the park before 2004 will no doubt remember Model World. Number 1. Logger's Leap when Logger's Leap opened in 1989, it was both the tallest ride in Thor Park and the tallest log flume in the UK. Set in the Canadian area of the park, the ride had the standard sawmill team in which you travel along a track in a hollowed out log. This ride might be more familiar than others on this list as it operated all the way through to 2015. Strangely enough, Thor Park would announce in 2015 that the ride closed to undergo major refurbishments. The ride would sit dormant for a number of years, with the park eventually announcing in 2019 that the ride would not reopen, and the area would be part of a major development plan. This area still remains unused. 
If you enjoyed this Attraction Graveyard video, check out another episode in the series on Universal Studios Florida, or if you want to stay in Thor Park, check out our top tips video for the park. Both of those videos are on screen now. Are there any other Thor Park extinct attractions that you know of? We'd love to hear about them, so let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe. Now you're ready.